here we'll see how to use our Flutter app, this Arduino control board, breadboard together to control these LED lights from our Flutter app. Okay, so here if we click on this button over here, Flutter app, we see that the light has LED and we can go for the second one. Okay, it's back from here. We can also let on the third one over here, this one. Okay, and then we get a response back. Not only that, we can also turn it off. So we get response back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see how to do the setup. To work with this, of course, we need our ESP module. This is Wi-Fi module, Arduino board, and breadboard, and a bunch of jumper wires, LED, and three registers, as you can see. So the first option, we'll see how to connect and set up this one. So the first one, to be able to work with this, over here, we see that there is EN pin. So we're going to connect that EN pin over here. And then over here, we are going to go for this 3.3 voltage. So let's go ahead as well. And after this, this two together will connect on our breadboard and we we'll do in the same row. Okay. So make sure that you do it in the same row. Okay. They have to be the same row. And then we need to give it a power. So over here, this breadboard on the same row over here, I'm going to connect this one. And then now with this, I'm going to power up over here, this 3.3 voltage over here. So that's the first setup. But of course, after that, we have our TXT and uh, RXT that we need to set up. Now here you see that TXT is this one. So make sure that you connect over here, TXT. And this TXT should come over here, pin number two, okay? And then we'll see that we also have over here RXT or RX actually for receiving. We're gonna hit this one, connect this with pin number three over here, okay? So this is the basic setup of our Wi-Fi module. But then we also need to connect our LEDs over here with this Arduino board, okay? So to do that, first you need a jumper wire. So I have this jumper wire. So I'm going to connect with this positive side over here so that it gets powered up. And then over here, we're going to do it with this uh, five voltage. So let's connect this one. And then we need another jumper wire. With this, we're gonna, this ground power, this one, with this ground pin over here this it would help us to complete the circle and after that we need to get leds over here so as you see this is a lead and this is the positive and this is the negative one okay so to work with this over here i'm going to put it like this now we need to give power to this lead so for this one, I'm going to use one of the jumpers wires. These, these are male-to-male -male jumper wires. Register, okay, so I'm using 1K register in this case. And connect this LED light over here. This LED light is the short leg, okay. And uh, with this power down over here, which is ground. Okay, just like this. Now I'm going to repeat the same for other two LED, but So hopefully everything is set up correctly. And after that, you have to have this cable to power up your Arduino board. Once you do that, we'll see that here they light up and hopefully they'll also light up first. Hopefully they'll light up all of them. We'll see that. Okay, so all these LEDs are all light up, but this is not actually what we want, okay? 
because we want them to be controlled from Flutter app, okay? The app that we have on our mobile phone. So what do you want to control? For example, you see that over here, this is giving power to this LED, right? That we want to control this power. We don't want to get it power all the time from this power line. So we want to control this. And for this reason, I'm going to connect this one with over here, pin 13, because pin 13 is the one that we can control from our Flutter app. The same for this one. So I'm going to disconnect this and then this one i'm going to connect it on pin 12 okay and the same for this one okay so let's go ahead and unpin this and then we're going to put it to 11. the sketch ready for you guys so all you need to do go ahead to my website and download the complete code that's pretty long code so go ahead and go there and after that, we need to make sure that we are connecting our Arduino IDE correctly. So for this reason, you need to go at the top. Go at the top and make sure that your board is connected. And at the same time, make sure that your port is correct. And then you're going to compile the code. And after compiling, you need to upload the code. To upload it, make sure that your compiler is correct. And... Uh, You'll see messages like this and then you need to go ahead and click upload and the code will be uploaded and then even before you need to make sure that you know your wi-fi password wi-fi name and password and wi-fi name and password you should mention over here actually that's your wi-fi name and password and then it would already on the board would try to connect through this isp module so anyway, once you upload your code uh, to Arduino board through this IDE, you'll see that over here it's showing your Wi-Fi name and password and it's also giving you ISP, ESP IP address. But ESP IP address could be different for everyone. It depends on your local network. So this is not the IP address I want. So there could be dynamic IP address. Now the IP address that I want uh, after uploading the code or the sketch to Arduino a few times, I was able to get it. So you need to do your own test. In general, they start with 168 or 178. So in my case, it is 168 as you can see that. So now I'm gonna copy this and put it in my Flutter code over here. Now this code also given, so make sure that you go ahead and download from our website. And then here you will see that it says connected to ESP module. And then you can start doing your experiment. And as you do that, you'll see uh, at the console, it's printing that the light is on or the light is off.